welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to discuss limits and um, I'm going to solve question 1 2 3 and 4 in one tutorial video because um, the solutions for these questions are very short so I'm going to do them in one uh, video so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel make sure that you do so by clicking the subscription button and don't forget to hit the notification button there all right so uh, the first question is in A and B explain why the limits do not exist so why doesn't these limit exist so let's start first by looking at the first one here so when you check the first one you have x over x okay I'll start first by introducing limits how you simplify limits so if you have let's say the limit of uh, x uh, let me say the limit of x when x is approaching 5 or let me say x plus 1 then the limit of x plus 1 when x is approaching 5 the answer will just be found by replacing 5 where there's x there meaning you have 5 plus 1 the answer will be 6 so what what this means if they ask us uh, to say find the limit of x over the absolute value of x when x is approaching 0 they simply mean you replace where there is x there, you put a 0. But in this case, we have the absolute value symbol down there. Meaning this is not just a normal uh, limit, but uh, it's, a, it's something that is in the form of a piecewise function. So this one can be written in the form uh, of a piecewise function as the limit when x is approaching 0 of x over the absolute value of x this is going to be written as um, uh, when x is approaching the negative uh, side of 0 this one is going to be when x is approaching the negative side of 0 meaning we are dealing with numbers that are less than 0 so this would be negative x for all the values of x that are less than 0 and then for the positive side of x um, we are going to have x is greater or equal to 0 this means that we're talking about numbers starting from zero going to positive infinity and then the first one this one talks about the numbers that are less than um, less than zero meaning the negative integers or the negative real numbers in short okay so what should we do now from here so after writing it in this form Remember, I've, do, uh, I've done this, I've, I've written it in this form because it has an absolute value symbol down there. But if it was just a normal, um, a normal limit like this one, uh, we would have done it the other way. So, let me start first by solving the first one here. So, when I'm dealing with all the values of x that are less than 0, means that while there is x there, I'm going to replace with negative x. So I'm going to find the limit of x when x is approaching the negative side of 0. And uh, this is going to be divided by, um, yeah, this is going to be divided by, okay, let me write it in this format so that it's easier for us to, um, okay, the erase is not coming here. Okay, let me just continue like this. So the limit of this when x is approaching uh, negative uh, the negative side of 0 is just going to be um, okay let me write it the way it is this one is just going to be equal to um, x over uh, negative x or so I'm using x here if you want you can use 0 you can put 0 over the negative of 0 down there this can be any number in short if we had negative, uh, if we had one here, would have said the negative side of zero. So would have written what is x there? Would have replaced with uh, uh, one, and what is x down there? Would have replaced with uh, one. Okay. So for the negative, um, uh, sorry for. Okay. So. Um, so if I used zero here, most people would have gotten confused, but. I'm using x so that you understand what I'm saying. So that if I say I cancel this x and that x, the answer that I'm going to remain with is negative 1. Okay. Same applies to this other part. I'm going to do the same. So we say the limit when x is approaching 
uh, the positive side of 0, we're going to have this as x over uh, the absolute value of x. So this is going to be x over the positive x. So this will give us 1. So this limit does not exist. Why? Because uh, the limit of um, this, when it is approaching the negative, is not equal to the, uh, the limit when it's approaching the positive. So what I mean in other words is that uh, the limit uh, of x over the absolute value of x when x is approaching the negative side of 0 should be equal to the limit of x over the absolute value of x when x is approaching uh, the positive side of 0. So if these two are equal, we can conclude that the limit exists. But in this case, when you look at the answer that I've gotten here, this is a, a negative one, this is a positive one, which implies that the limit does not exist. So we conclude by saying since this one is not equal to that, then the limit, then the limit, the limit does not exist. Yeah, so the limit does not exist. Alright, so let's move on to this one. So B here is straightforward. Here they're asking us to say the limit of um, 1 over x minus 1 when x is approaching 1. Uh, does it exist? That's a question. So this one, let's take for instance, remember the example that I gave here. I wanted to give another example, but in this case, we already have an, uh, an example. So if you have a function here, and then they ask you to find the limit of that when x is approaching a certain number or a certain constant, you simply just have to replace that number where there's x. So same applies to this. If we replace uh, 1 where there's x there, what, what can happen? If you put 1 where there's x there, you're going to have 1 over 0. And then when you look at this expression, this expression is undefined. This expression is undefined. And in limits, whenever an expression is undefined, we say the limit does not exist. We say the limit does not exist. Alright, so this is how you solve the first question. Alright, question two. So question 2 says, suppose that the function f of x is, there's supposed to be i here, is defined for all real values of x except x is equal to c. Can anything be said about the existence of the limit uh, of the limit when, uh, of the limit of f of x when, the lim when x is approaching c? Give the reasons for your answer. So in this case, when you read the question here, it says, Suppose that the function f of x is defined for all real values. So meaning this is, um, they, are, they are trying to talk about the domain of a certain function f of x. So if the limit of all real values uh, exist, except for, the, uh, for x is equal to c, it means that this x is equal to c makes that uh, limit undefined, which implies that according to limits, we can say the, the worst is the limit for uh, for f uh, the limit for f of x when x is approaching c um, is, uh, I mean, does not exist in short. Okay, so in other words, what we're trying to say is that we can't say anything. The question is, can anything be said? So we can't say anything, or you can just say nothing can be said. Just say nothing can be said. That's all. This is the answer. You don't have to write anything else. This is the answer. Nothing can be said. Uh, why? Because this would probably make the function undefined or the limit undefined, which would, um, w which we can say maybe the limit, uh, the limit ca we can say the limit um, doesn't exist for x is equal to c. Yeah. So nothing can be said. That's the answer. This is just the answer. That's all. You don't have to add or subtract anything. Okay. Let's move on to question three. So question three says, 
Question 3 reads, if the limit of f of x when x is approaching 1 is equal to 5, must f be defined at x is equal to 1? This is the question. This is absolutely no. The answer is no. If the limit when x is, appro is approaching 1, um, when if the limit when x is approaching 1 is equal to 5, must uh, must f be defined as uh, at x is equal to 1? The answer is no. It may be a no, yeah, but the answer is no, yes. If it is, uh, I mean, if it is, must f of 1 be equal to 5? No. Even this one, the answer is no. Can we conclude anything about the value of f at x is equal to 1? The answer is no, we can't. We can't conclude anything about this, yeah. So these questions are simple and straightforward. That's why, that's why I said I'll just answer them in one video because you don't have to solve anything here. You just have to write yes or no, that's all. So on this question, all the answers are no's. <laughs> I don't know if that uh, English exists. All the answers are no's. Yeah. All right, so we move on. So we move on to question four. So question four is more like the opposite of the question that we are from solving. So everything else is almost the same, but it's slightly, we can say it's somehow the opposite. Yeah, so they are saying if f of 1 is equal to 5. So if f of 1 is equal to 5, must, li must the limit of f of x when x is approaching 1 exist? The answer is yes. Yes, the answer is going to be yes. If it does, then must the limit when... Uh, x is approaching 1 uh, be equal to 5 it may be 5 but let me say yes even this one the answer would be yes yeah can we conclude anything about the limit we can say it exists yeah that's all so this is how you answer such questions yeah so this is how you answer such questions so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so, so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting on the questions, uh, starting from question 5 going up. See you in the next tutorial video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen. My name is Hamted. Shalom, shalom.